Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Yes. I'm here in Belfast with me. I've got the new. You got to say it? The new. And the new. BY yeah. Irish champion, Gary Colley. Yeah. I mean, I expected it to be a good fight, but you managed to do it in less than a round, man. Was that the game plan? We prepared for our, like 10 rounds. The game plan was go out. I was prepared to start cagey enough because. Joe had been saying in, in the interviews on the lead up that um, he I wouldn't be able to handle his power, so I had to take that into account and be expecting that he was going to be strong. Um, so the plan was first three rounds, KG, suss him out and uh, see what he brought to the table and then start breaking him down. I, I had seven, eight in my head to stop him. Um, that was my plan all along. But I had a feeling in my head the whole week I'd been saying to uh, Kevin, the whole week I'd been saying, oh, I just have a feeling that I'm going to catch him when he's going to go because I think he under... I think you all underestimated right. uh, Thank you. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Um, I think you underestimated your power. So I, t I had a feeling in my head all week that if I, if I catch him early, he's going to buckle, and he did, thankfully enough. I think I've been uh, five or six years. No. You've done a good I've few. been quite a good few of your yeah, yeah. early, and I've never seen the explosion of the explosiveness of your, your backhand mm. tonight. Is that something you've been working on with Pete in the gym? Yeah, look, uh, um, <coughs> we were, I was out for six months where I couldn't throw my backhand. So in that time, I, I worked on my job and we um, improved on the job. But then once I got back then, we started improving on the backhand as well. And we've just been working on maturing, it, maturing into the way. I use one in the interview, eh? Oh. <laughs> Anto. <laughs> Anto. <laughs> Sorry, 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 Ando, eh? Okay, sorry. Uh, Ice, what were we saying now? Oh, I have no idea. I don't even know if I remember my question. Do you remember? This interview is uh, I don't know, kick my ass, man. I want to apologise to him in a minute, so... Um, <laughs> can we can get somebody else over here to do my interviews. Yeah, backhand. Oh, yeah, backhand, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I've, sure? just, I've just been working on uh, maturing into the weight. I've been doing a good bit of strength conditioning and I weighed in 9 stone 9 on the button. Like I, I want to just touch the weight and be very, very strong at the weight. And, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm maturing into the way and I'm, I'm very strong at it and I don't think that's something Joe took into account in, the, in his camp. Since I've known you, you've always won the title fight. Yeah, I've been calling for a fight. Yeah, you've been calling for the fight. What does that... Hold up to you. Let me see it. Let me see it. It's a nice belt, eh? Yeah, what does that belt mean to you right now? Yeah, it's it's a massive achievement. Um, prestigious prestigious belt. Being champion of your country is something that I wanted to do. I always wanted to take the traditional route, go Irish, um, European and then world. And I got frustrated coming towards the end of last year. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that because no one stepped up. And credit to Joe, I said it in the press conference. Um, both of us didn't have to take this fight at this stage of our career. He could have easily built up to 15, and 16, and all fighting all bodies. But credit to him, he stepped up. He wanted to prove himself, and I was just better than me. A couple of beers were thrown at the ring yeah. after you, after you won. Yeah, Did you manage to catch one and down it? No, no, no I'll have, have one later. Cool. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about <laughs> that. that cool. No, his his mates are very passionate, and and they're obviously a close crowd. So. Uh, Look, that happens when drinks involved. There's no hard feelings. Mm -hmm. I, I gave Joe a hug and a kiss, and I wished him well, and same as his brother. So, there's no hard feelings. I spoke to Pete Taylor. Done a quick interview with Pete as you were celebrating in the, the changing room there. I said, "How good is Gary Con?" His words was, "He's the Irish Tommy Hearns, but Southpaw." How does that make you feel? And does that put pressure on you when somebody gives you that so much? Like puts something like Tommy Hearns on, on your name? No, I believe in myself as well, massively, and. Uh, not in an arrogant way, but I just, I just, I just believe that uh, we can go all the way, and I'm not, in, I'm not in. This is a very, very hard sport, so I'm not in it just to fucking tip around and, and uh, get brain damage and not make money. I want to make lots of money out of this, and I want to be a superstar. Buy so. me some trainers. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll go yeah, shopping something. That. We're not, thing, we we'll debut in Vegas. We'll go buy trainers. Right? There you go. I'm holding you to that. Do you hear that? And it's on camera. <laughs> it's on camera. <laughs> hey, Ian, this is very good. That's the main man. Get it done. <laughs> hey. I find it before I let you go, because obviously there's a lot of media here I want to talk to you as well. So another thing, Pete Taylor, that I found interesting, what he said was that you'd be world champion in 18 months. Yeah. I mean, is that, again, pressure and are you ready for it? Like, I, I think that that fight tonight proved that I, I don't need to be fighting on this level. Mm. Um, I, I, I wanted to win the belt and I wanted to become Irish champion, but I think that proved that I'm ahead of this level. So I'd like to step on soon. Um, I don't want to get ahead of myself either and start calling out world champions, but I, I want to step on and be tested and get myself a European belt, European ranking belt and start climbing. I told you this time last year I wanted to be, I definitely want to be world ranked top 10 by the end of the year. So we'll see where that brings us down. I have the best team in the world to do it for, for me. So definitely good stuff. Exciting times ahead, Andy. Uh, definitely, man. Hopefully I'll be there if we step it away. Fine. Anything you like to add? No, um, just I want to dedicate that actually. 
to my mother. We had um, there's myself, my brother, and my sister, my little sister at home. Mum Marine, Marine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a we had a tough year last year. Obviously, I got injured, and my mum was be- battling uh, breast cancer. Oh wow! Okay. So she she beat that at the end of the year last year, and we got a fresh start this year. And that's the best way possible to start it. So I'd like to get dedicate that to my mum. Yeah. Well, that's the perfect way to end it. Gary, as always, pleasure speaking to you, my man. And, uh, I'll catch you the next one. Thanks very much, mate.